हाय शुभम हाउ आर यू हाय राकेश गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम आई एम गुड टू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो शुभम मेनी मेनी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू यू फॉर गेटिंग सिलेक्टेड इन मल्टीपल कंपनीज एंड एंड थैंक यू टू यू एज वेल to for coming on the channel and sharing your success story so how do you feel about it yeah, thank you rakesh for giving me this opportunity hmm. yeah i was pretty excited uh, getting the offers uh, but uh, like uh, behind doors was a uh, pretty hard work i have started uh, giving interviews from february so hmm. it it has been quite long journey oh. but uh, over the period of time by giving interviews and like uh, watching the videos uh, mm-hmm. on, basically on most of the days i used to just uh, turn on the video and uh, uh, when i came across uh, your uh, channel and then i was like pretty much uh, every day i used to listen at least one interview and uh, mm-hmm. along with that uh, i used to uh, arrange my notes accordingly based on that and i, just, uh, I have to i was strategizing in that way Hmm. Hmm. Great. Great. Wonderful. So, how much percentage of hike that you have received in the new company in which you have got selected? Yeah. Currently, almost like a one fifty percent. One fifty percent. Oh wow. That's that's great. So, how did you come to know about this interviews and where did you apply? Yeah. Uh, most of the time, like uh, I was uh, completely active on LinkedIn as well as the now place. so mostly the majority of the calls that i received were through the nokri itself uh, i used to update the nokri profile first uh, the routine was when i woke up in the morning the first mm-hmm. thing i would do is update uh, my nokri profile and uh, uh, delete the old resume and uh, upload the uh, same resume uh, again and again mm-hmm. so that was on daily basis and uh, it was like i would uh, update it without missing a single day even if it was saturday or sunday i i, I used to update uh, those things okay and now uh, uh, if uh, i have learned any uh, t- small technology as well and if that would help me in the interviews then i would uh, definitely add those things as well wonderful great so uh, how many interview rounds were there so you got selected in three to four companies right so what were the interview rounds how many technical rounds you had how many managerial rounds you had Yes. starting with the first company in the first company yeah, it was like uh, uh, there were two ma- majority there were two technical rounds mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. the first technology was uh, uh, first interview was uh, majority based on java and selenium okay and the se- uh, second interview was more like uh, technical and managerial type uh, rounds mm-hmm. where uh, the mostly the scenario based uh, questions were asked okay uh, about the uh, technology about the technology and some of the uh, some of the uh, programs were also given in mm-hmm. the two round uh, okay. in the first company there were two and in the second company it it, it was a walk in interview uh, okay. and i just uh, directly uh, went uh, to the walking interview and uh, they had taken a single round uh, it was uh, nearly uh, 30 uh, 40 to 45 minutes and that's it uh, about the uh, second company mm-hmm. the third company uh, uh, it majority three uh, like there were three rounds mm-hmm. first one was uh, uh, fully based on uh, technical uh, technical perspective right and uh, overall like uh, duration was uh, around uh, one, one hour 20 minutes okay and the uh, second round was manager ma- mainly manager round so mm-hmm. all the a scenario based questions were asked and uh, the third round was like uh, like they were okay with two rounds but third round was to check uh, like uh, uh, the actual candidate is uh, ready for directly deploying on the project mm-hmm. so the third round uh, was also taken oh, okay and mm-hmm. the third round was completely scenario based so uh, and uh, majority of the t- uh, questions were like uh, uh, If you are uh, develop any framework, then uh, you will be able to easily answer those. those mm-hmm. Right. Great. Great. So, uh, you were telling all these. So, one of this was a walk-in interview, and rest also were in-person interviews. You were going to the companies, and you were giving the interviews there, right? Yes. 
right so can you tell me with the technical questions that were asked and the manager so whatever questions you got in these companies if you can tell me the questions yeah the starting question was with the uh, uh, i'm uh, i'm strong string i'm strong okay i'm strong uh, program right uh, yeah string program in Java. and to validate uh, that uh, the both numbers are same so in this they were mainly expecting the uh, logic with its conditions whether how uh, if we we were able to validate that right right great great okay then and the second was uh, to reverse a string okay yeah the favorite question of every yes. interviewer uh, by yes. keeping the original value same hmm. correct reverse Third. a string hmm. by then. keeping the word position same okay then uh then uh, uh, the string with uh, a2 b b3 c3 and output will be double a triple b okay like a that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and in other uh, like other interview it was the reverse mm -hmm. we were given double a double b double c okay okay the same thing a, a, a b b and then you have to convert to how many times it is there okay mm -hmm. then uh then uh to find like uh the for a cert, uh, certain value in a list or mm -hmm. array okay and uh, uh finding the uh, uh duplicate in a given string here like uh, mainly they were checking like uh, uh, uh our understanding in the uh, maps mainly here okay okay collections hash map hash set those kind of things mm -hmm. fine fine and uh, the third one was uh, mm -hmm. uh a string with uh, abc mm -hmm. string array abc okay lm and xyz abc and xyz two strings you are telling yeah uh, you can take another one as well okay ABC. any any other string we can take and yeah. we have to string array string array string, string array string. okay string array we have to take okay abc and xyz then uh, klm klm okay uh, in this uh, we have to uh, reverse uh, uh, like a uh, klm it will come first and it will uh, reverse mlk okay mlk and then it would come zyx then cba like that mm. okay fine yeah uh, okay so it like uh, uh, programming and right the uh, based on the framework uh, how you have used oops concept uh, in your framework mm. very important question then uh, then uh, other was uh, for example uh, we have a class and we have a constructor mm. and uh, in the in, and through the constructor uh, after uh, defining its uh, after uh, initiating the instance uh, creating the instance variable we are just directly passing a null value and we have created a mm. two constructors with parameters uh, one is uh, with object o and other is string s so which one will be uh, which, what will be the output so which constructor uh, it will call object o and string x mm. uh, just just to iterate that i have understood this question you have a class and you have a constructor who is creating mm. the instance variable in that class yes and it is passing yeah. null value null just directly mm. empty in your double okay and so uh, uh, it 
which can uh, the uh, pro which in which uh, constructor uh, the program will which constructor the execution will happen in which constructor the execution will happen either it is uh, with uh, it will go in the with parameter o or in hmm. string f in o or in string fine fine then uh, then about exceptions exceptions uh, in selenium you have faced mm. Mm. and how did you overcome them was I, uh, st still element exception how you have overcome that was the mm. main okay and uh, Suppose if uh, a particular element is not uh, present on the DOM, mm. but you have to verify whether it is present or not. So how you are going to take that? Check, okay. Then? Any any other questions you are able to recall? Any managerial round questions? Yeah, any other question? Be, yeah. uh, what uh, like uh, general uh, general QA questions? Uh, if you have uh, raised a bug, so uh, what is the uh, life cycle? Okay. That you will follow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, if uh, if there is a bug and uh, uh, you uh, and if your uh, test kit is absent, and so how you will uh, deal with that bug? And that is a priority that bugs need to be hmm. fixed within the time, but uh, the bug is not fixed. So, how you will deal with the situation? Okay, you are testing and you get a bug, but it is not fixed. And then, and the, uh, like uh, tomorrow is a uh, release date, and today and at night you have found that bug. Okay. Tonight you found the defect. Tomorrow you have a release. Okay. Got it. How will you deal with this situation? Mm -hmm. uh, what type of uh, reporting do you use? Mm -hmm. And what are its uh, dependencies? Okay. Wait, great. I think these questions are good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Shubham, so uh, it was good to have all these questions, right? So we discussed about uh, the uh, updating. Okay. Now, many of the people are telling that in the market, the calls have started, but they are not getting the calls, right? With three plus years of experience, for experience, definitely the calls have started. Even the job market, it is improving. The the companies are approaching the uh, college for campus recruitments for placement programs. So what do you think? Uh, are the calls really started or is it just that few of the people are only getting calls? Yeah, uh, generally now uh, the situation is like uh, most, uh, mainly the companies will be uh, like looking for experience. So the, that is the first thing. Right. So in that uh, first thing is like uh, when uh, at least uh, before uh, something like uh, I have started in February. Mm. So uh, like I did not get any call for uh, two to three months almost. Yes. Even though I was updating on the daily basis. Right. Uh, but I did not lose any patience. But I kept continue uh, continues to update uh, all those things on Nokri and I, on LinkedIn also I was active. So like you will get a call. Uh, generally, all the people are looking for an immediate joiner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, like there is a little bit risk, uh, but uh, if some, someone can take that risk as well, mm -hmm. uh, that depends on their own. But for me, like uh, for the first company that uh, gave me offer, they had uh, almost two months. They were waiting, they were able to wait for two months. Mm -hmm. But for that, uh, the interview, that uh, how it should, uh, the interview uh, should go very well. 
yes like uh, we should be able to clear those with uh, like uh, full like they should be uh, able to tell that okay this person is uh, i need this person so we should be able to clear those things in that in that particular way, at least wonderful yes yes absolutely but actually uh, at least uh, 80 to 70 to 80 percent and the programming should be cleared in that way. correct correct it's very important if the interview goes good then the companies would be waiting for you all right and uh, how many how much uh, months of notice period you had to serve uh, two months two months okay and how many years of experience you told you have three right yeah yeah six 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 years of experience you right right yeah okay then uh shubham it was good uh it was nice talking to you and any other advice uh that would you would like to give to the subscribers or to the people who are watching this video yeah about that uh yeah although it is taking time but uh be patient right. uh, just put a little efforts then luck will be always with you definitely yes yes so things will be improving and we need to keep on applying because see there are so many people out there who are looking for the job opportunities so definitely we have to uh, ensure that we give our full effort and then we come up with the best thing right yeah okay uh, shubham i am done from my side thank you so much for coming on this channel and sharing your success story with us and uh, wish you all the best for the future ahead Thank you, Rakesh. Have a great day. Yeah, thank you.